What's going on guys, JSGC here and we're here for another Manchester City video. This time it's going to be the away match analysis against Cardiff City. Uh, I'm smiling so you have to presume that it went well. Also, you'll be able to see from the title that it went very well. Just wanted to say before we crack on with this video, if you could help support my channel, make sure that you press the big red button, make sure that you subscribe, put your push notifications on, it really helps me out, helps my channel grow, that'd be fantastic. We're going to crack on with this analysis. Now... Should only be a short one this one because I didn't think there was that many talking points really. It was kind of the perfect away performance in my opinion. Now we needed a win before the game. Disappointing result against Leon. That's in the past now. Gundogan started along with Fernandinho. I was a bit iffy on that. David Silva being on the bench. I presume that he had some kind of knock. So I went with Bernardo Silva instead. Uh, and it seemed to work really well in my opinion. But there we go. Cardiff went, uh, Cardiff, sorry, they went with Cunningham ahead of Joe Bennett. After Joe Bennett got sent off. If you uh, Didn't get sent off. Should have been sent off if you remember in the match. Uh, in the FA Cup, so they went with Greg Cunningham instead, and along with Peltier at right back. And I remember reading some of the Cardiff fans weren't too happy with that. Perhaps fearing that Lyris on a very quick may be able to tear him apart. Now, for the first 30 minutes, nothing much happened. It was really boring, really lethargic. Not a lot happening. Pretty pedestrian-like, pretty slow from Manchester City. Then Man City just managed to build up a little bit of confidence, then injected that quality there. Now, in the 32nd minute, Bernard, Bernard Silva managed to find some space. Squared it in, Aguero lost his marker, found just half a yard of space, didn't even need to control it, just took a first time shot, lovely finish right into the net, 1-0, take that every day of the week. And then from there, Cardiff were put under pressure, 35 minutes, corner played in from Lee Rosane, I think he played 1-2 with Gundogan, puts a ball in, not the greatest of crosses, finds the first man, Bernardo Silva just happened to be the first man, so he just loops his header, flicks his head up and sends a looping header into the back of the net. I don't think he meant it. Who cares? 2-0. You think from there that Manchester City have got the three points. Everyone's delighted. Got even better. 44 minutes in. Beautiful 1-2 with Gundogan and David Silva. Gundogan outside the box. Find some space. Fantastic finish. Go and find the highlights of the game because it's a beautiful goal from Gundogan. And I'm delighted that Gundogan can go and get that goal because he's been coming under a lot of scrutiny, a lot of pressure. So I'm delighted that he's gone and got that goal. Ease the pressure, showing what he can do. Now, just before half-time... One of the biggest talking points of the game, Rawls, he's booked, should have been a red card in my opinion. A really nasty stood up challenge halfway up the shin of Ilke Gundogan. Ilke Gundogan didn't end up going off injured though, so he ended up picking himself up. Nasty challenge, should have been a red card. No idea why the referee didn't, he clearly saw it. Inept referee and what do you expect from Premier League referees? Michael Oliver today is suspect for that. Half-time though, 3-0 Manchester City, perfect away performance. Cardiff struggling to cope with Manchester City's quality and pace. Struggling with Leroy Sane and Raheem Sterling. They were excellent up top for Manchester City. Midfield dominating, defence had very little to do. So like I said, perfect performance. Particularly that last 15 minutes, it shows what Man City can do in the space of, what was it, 12 minutes. We scored three goals from being pretty lethargic and slow to you're 3-0 up. And that's what Manchester City can do. Didn't have that against Leon in the first half, did we? But we got it today. Pep back on the bench. Perfect. Second half, Pelty ended up getting stretched off. Injured his shoulder. Hope he's okay uh, for the next match. I believe it's not a serious injury for him. But Man City hold no, uh, no bars here, really. Gundogan ends up uh, finding Riyad Mahrez with a nice ball across. He came on for Aguero. And Riyad Mahrez ended up scoring his Manchester City goal. His first one. I'm delighted for him. I thought it's perfect opportunity for him to go and uh, have some minutes here, go and get a goal, Man City will play nice attacking football, no pressure, goes and gets himself a goal, absolutely fantastic, Gundogan ended up going off, and Foden came on, so excellent to see that Phil Foden got some minutes, I think he got just over 30 minutes, and Gundogan, absolutely excellent for Manchester City, then, minute before time, 89th minute, Riyad Mahrez makes it 5-0, perfect performance this, Riyad Mahrez gave the ball away, got the ball back, <coughs> ended up having a brilliant shot, into the bottom corner, Efridge stood no chance. Five goals to Manchester City, five goals to their zero means we take three points. We're up to second. Chelsea play, I think it's tomorrow. They can go over us again, but they've got a big match, Chelsea, next week. They've got a home match, I think it is, against Liverpool. So, very important at the top, which means if we can win next Saturday against Brighton, another three o'clock kickoff, then we're guaranteed to be at least second if they draw. Then Manchester City, if they win next week, will go in first into the match at Anfield. So lots to look forward to. But 5 0 perform brilliant performance from Manchester City. Three points. Great that Riyad Mahrez managed to pick up a brace. 
got his first ever Manchester City goal, so I'm delighted for him. I'm, fan I'm ecstatic for Phil Foden getting over 30 minutes of play for Manchester City. Defence solid, midfield solid, the attacking front three solid too. I'm going to give my man of the match to Ilkay Gundogan. I don't know about you, but I thought he was superb in this game. He's under a lot of pressure in this game to perform. A lot of people, not just me, were a bit iffy, a bit, a bit suspect at Fernandinho and Gundogan having another centre midfield partnership. But it worked really well today, so kudos to Pep, kudos to Fernandinho and kudos to Ilkay Gundogan there. Clean sheet, fantastic. Edison's got a clean sheet. And perfect, everything was perfect. I'm expecting that we may well see more of Riyad Mahrez in the next game against Oxford. Preview for that will be up on Monday. I'm expecting to see Phil Foden start that game. We might see John Stones too. He made an appearance in this game, but he didn't start. So I imagine all the players that are on the bench would probably be starting in that as we go through a full rotation of players Oxford away in the Carabao Cup with the current holders, so we want a good result there. Then we move on to Brighton, and then we've got the Champions League match against Hoffenheim away, and then Liverpool away, which will take us to the international break. So if we can pick up all them wins, then that'd be amazing, wouldn't it? But confidence is back up. We move on to the next game. Absolutely perfect. Preview up on Monday. We've got the news up tomorrow if you're interested in Manchester City's latest news, including some clips of. Benjamin Mendy getting up to no good as he goes into the news again with a little bit more drama. Mm, it's been a naughty boy, I'll add that one in. So make sure you stay tuned for that one, make sure you subscribe, put your push notifications on. Also don't forget to check out my social media, Twitter and Instagram, that's in the description below. You can go and check out my second channel, JSGC Gaming, along with my brother's partner channel, Mixy Do Mixology Drinks. I'm going to leave links up to them at the end of this video if you want to go check them out, like and subscribe over there. And go check out my other videos too. I'll leave a link up to a random video if you go and check it out at the end of this video. And I'll see you all again soon for the next Man City video, which will be tomorrow. Don't forget to share the video, help my channel grow, and I'll see you all then. So it's been JSGC. Have a wonderful rest of your day and weekend. 5 0 Blues. Peace. Ciao for now.